Example 1. Please calculate the standard molar entropy of oxygen gas at 298 Kelvin. The molar heat capacities of oxygen gas are listed below. Well, before we try to get the answer for this problem, let's review some basics. This is the symbol for standard molar entropy. It's equal to the molar entropy at 0 Kelvin plus the change of entropy from 0 Kelvin to the temperature you're trying to calculate. From the third law of thermodynamics, the entropy at 0 Kelvin for perfect crystals is 0. Therefore, the standard molar entropy of a substance is equal to the entropy change between 0 Kelvin and the temperature you are trying to calculate. To calculate the change of the entropy at constant pressure, we have two different kind of basic calculation methods. One is without phase change. The other one is with phase change. Let me put them down. Remember, at the phase change temperature, the temperature does not change. Well, to calculate the entropy change without phase change, it will be equal to the moles multiply the integration of CPM over T dt. Apparently, depends on the expression of CPM. We need to integrate differently. As we can see here, at different temperature ranges, the CPM expression is different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the calculations, and then you should be able to follow the same method to calculate delta S for the other temperature ranges. Similarly, I will show you one example for the phase transition entropy change calculation. Then you should be able to finish the rest. Well, let me choose the second temperature range to show you how to calculate delta S. Because it has multiple terms. So if you can do multiple term integrations, then you should be able to do a single term integration. Well, let me show you the work. Because the standard molar entropy is for one mole of substance. Therefore, n is equal to 1. We use 1 multiply integration. The initial temperature of this integration is 12.97 Kelvin. And the final temperature is 23.66 Kelvin. Because it has four terms, therefore, we need to have four separate integrations. The initial temperatures are the same for all four integrations. And the final temperatures should be the same as well. Then let's integrate each term. But before we do that, we have to simplify the expressions inside the integration. Well, to save time, I'm going to omit the initial temperatures and the final temperatures in this expression. But you should remember that we always need to have the initial and the final temperature. Well, I'm running out of space for the last term. Let me put it here. Then we need to plug in the initial temperature and the final temperature for each expression. Well, if you plug all the numbers into a calculator, you will get the answer, which is 6.65. And this is joule per mole per Kelvin. Well, now let me show you a calculation for a phase change. 
I already drew the first one. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's just the numbers are different. So let's draw the first one at 23.66 Kelvin. This will be delta S1, delta S2, delta S3, delta S4, delta S5, delta S6, delta S7. Well, if you follow these two methods, you can calculate the delta S for all of them. Then, at the end, we need to add all of them together. This will be the standard molar entropy of oxygen at 298 Kelvin. If you look up the book, the value in the book is 205.0 joule per mole per Kelvin. Compare these two numbers, our result is not that bad, right? Can you follow my example to finish these two problems by yourself? Make sure Look at the hints first.